Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, you've been invited into the animal management breakout room. Um, so we're here to discuss the animal management courses that we run here at Cape Manor College. Um, you're joined today by myself, Helen, um, and Nico, who is, and um, we're both curriculum leaders in animal management and saddlery. Um, so you might be able to see Nico, his, his camera's turned on there as well at the moment. He's giving you a little wave. Um, we're going to answer questions in chat as we go through. So Nico's going to be doing that for us, um, which is why he'll be looking down quite a bit. Um, and there will be an op opportunity for questions and discussion at the end. Uh, so after the presentation, uh, we will be answering some of your questions live. Um, and if there's any questions that are more specific to um, some of our other departments, such as our um, admissions or our finance teams, then we'll be able to speak to them when we go back into the main room afterwards. Okay. So, why animal management? Coming to Cape Manor College will give you the opportunity to work with a range of species of animals. So each of our five centres we've got across London, um, Enfield in the north of London, we've got uh, Brooks Farm in the sort of northeast, then we've got Mottingham in the southeast, Crystal Palace in the south, and Gunsbury Park in the west of London. All of these centres have amazing animal units with a variety of animals at them. So you'll be working with things like meerkats, bearded dragons, um, llamas. We've got rhea. We've got um, we've got uh, chinchillas and hamsters and ponies and all the sorts of animals that you would need to work with to get that practical hands-on skills in animal management. The great thing about um, learning with these facilities is that when you go for a job interview to work with animals you're not only saying you know I know that chameleons are cold-blooded so they might need a heat lamp in their enclosure. You can actually say when I've noticed that there's the chameleon is acting a little bit sluggish or a bit tired, I've actually gone into the enclosure and I've readjusted the area and I've, ch I've checked the temperatures and checked the heat lamp and I've improved the welfare for that animal. So employers love the fact that all of our students are able to say, I don't only know about it, I've done it and I've, I've seen it and I know it works. Our learners go off to um, university degrees after finishing our courses, things such as veterinary science. Um, lots of our students go on to the Royal Vet College to study veterinary medicine with them. Um, animal behaviour, or we've got our very own animal management and zoology degree, which we run at Enfield, and we are looking to start running that at some of our other campuses as well in the future. Some of our other learners have gone straight into industry. They've maybe set up successful businesses, they work in conservation, in wildlife rehabilitation, um, pet training or city farms. We've got lots of students that come back to us with great stories about where they found um, placements in industry. So all of our courses are full time. That doesn't mean five days a week on site with us. Um, it can mean two or three days of classroom lessons and then one full day of practical lessons every week. And what that means is your practical lesson, you run the animal area at that site. So all of you and your classmates, they go down to the, um, out, down to the areas, you go around and check all the animals in the morning, you feed them, you clean them, you give them any medication that they might need. You do behaviour observations to check if there's any problems. Um, what's great about our classroom work is that you then get to practice it in real life scenarios. So you might learn about nutrition in the classroom and then you will go to the animal area and you will actually provide that nutrition, look at the plans, make the changes with the practical teams. And that's why often I think some people that find maybe biology or certain science subjects more tricky at school, find them much easier with us because you put it into practice. So you learn about it in the classroom and then you go and you do it in the animal areas and that makes it really, um, it really sort of sinks in and, and helps you to remember it. Um, the timetables um, for each course, as I said, it's two or three um, days a week of uh, theory and then a practical day. Um, there is also a work experience element to the course. So you will find and secure a work experience placement 
during a set time in the year for your course. So we'll give you allocated time at which you will be going out and doing work experience. Um, the great thing about that is you can pick an industry that you think you want to go into. You think that would be your dream job and you can try it out. Um, it also goes onto your CV and gives you sort of more experience for employers later on. Um, we've got lovely um, contacts with lots of industry placements um, across London. So we're able to help you to get those placements if you're struggling. But we want you to choose something that you're interested in that's close enough to your house for you to travel to. Um, and then we can help you if you need help setting those, setting those contacts up. Um, but it's such a great opportunity. Uh, maths and English, we do need to discuss. I know some people are worried about maths and English, um, but if you are under 19 um, and you haven't yet got your GCSE grade four in maths and English, you will be carrying on doing that with us. And that's the same for any college. Um, that is the government ruling that people continue to do it. And the reason is employers really want to see that you've developed in your maths and English levels. It's a bit different to at school. So we break it down into smaller sections. You might not go straight into a GCSE and this means that it's generally easier um, to work through. It also um, is great at college because a lot of our maths and English tutors, they will link what you're doing to your animal related subjects. So again, it makes more sense. It sort of sticks in. So you'll be maybe working out heart rates for horses um, when they're exercising and things like that. So it really helps you to sort of remember that key information. So I'm gonna go through our different levels now. What's really important to be aware of with our levels is that you can start at any one of them. So if you have the right entry requirements, the right past um, experience and grades, you could start on level two or level three or level one. Um, but also you can work up through the levels. So if you start on level one, we've got many students that have started on level one, then they've completed level two, level three, and can even go on and look at our degree program after that. So the level one course, um, you will learn lots of subjects like animal feeding, animal accommodation, um, handling, um, behavior, things like that. To get onto the course, you need two GCSEs, a grade two um, and above including maths and English. Um, but experience and enthusiasm will be considered. So if you're concerned that you don't have the entry requirements for level one, please do get in touch with us. Let us know what kind of past experience you've got and what kind of, um, what kind of exams you have sat in the past. And we'll be able to see which is the right course for you. It's assessed through assignments, which are um, basically written pieces of work that you submit to your tutor and they will then give them back to you if there's any changes that are needed and you're able to then update those. We also have practical work that is assessed. So when you're in the animal area, for example, if you're working in the exotics room, they will be checking if you can handle certain exotic animals as well. Um, and they'll be making sure that you can do all the tasks that we need you to do for this level. There's also a couple of exams in there, but again, don't worry, we prepare you very well for those exams. Um, and our, our tutors have, have been able to get our students passing those exams really consistently. Um, so that's not anything to worry about too much. We've then got our level two animal care diploma. So this still involves you going and doing the practical work and all the handling with the animals, but there's a little bit more science introduced to it. Um, at a higher level. So again, you're gonna study things like animal behavior, biology and health, nutrition, um, practical animal skills. Uh, as you can see, we've got a picture there of some of our students working with the lemurs at our Enfield campus. Um, to move on to this course, you need four GCSEs at grade three or above, including maths, English and science. You can also get there if you've got a distinction in introduction to animal care level one. So you may have done an animal care qualification at a different college, and you want to bring that over to Capel Manor, and that would be absolutely fine, um, and we'd be able to put you onto that level two qualification. As I said before, if you've done a level one qualification at another college and perhaps you didn't get a distinction, again, come to us with those grades and we'll be able to check which is the right course for you. Assessments are done in a similar way. There are assignments that you need to pass, 
practical work and then exams as well. Then we go on to our level three animal management advanced diploma. So this is a one year course. All of the courses we've talked about so far are one year courses. Um, however, with the level three, once you've completed the first year, you can then top up and do a second year of the level three, which makes it an extended diploma. If you want to go to university, you probably will need to do the two years to get enough UCAS points um, to go on to a university degree. But again, that, that will depend on your um, university's specific entry requirement. So you will learn things here like breeding and genetics, animal welfare and ethics, ecology, conservation management, animal management in a retail environment. And what I think is fantastic here about our courses is if you know what you want to do and you've decided I'm going to be a vet or I'm going to be a zoologist and you, you want to get those, that experience, then you will get it here. But also, if you don't yet know what you want to do, if you think I love working with animals, which is exactly how I was when I was um, finishing my GCSEs, but I don't know what it is that I want to do specifically, you go through such a range of subjects on our animal management courses that you will, by the end of it, have a really good idea what interests you the most. And you might find it's conservation and you want to go traveling around the world and working with animals in different areas, or you might find it's breeding and genetics and there's a specific sort of area of animal here that you want to be involved in um, protecting and um, helping to repopulate. So entry requirements. For this course, you need five GCSEs at grade five and above, including maths, English and science. You can also use a distinction in animal care diploma level two from another college or from our college, of course. And prior professional experience will also be considered. So once again, come to us um, if you've got specific um, entry requirements that you think we, we would like to consider. Our assessments are assignments, practical work and exams. It is the same for the different levels. It's just the amount of assignments and exams and the amount of work required obviously varies as to which level you're on. And finally, uh, the last course we're going to talk about in this breakout room is our Access to Higher Education Diploma Veterinary Science Level 3. This is a adult specific course. Um, so it's for those of you over 19 that would like access to a degree in veterinary medicine, veterinary science or any animal related subject. But we, the um, work that we do is at a standard that will allow you to go on to a veterinary medicine um, qualification. You're going to learn things like laboratory skills in chemistry and biochemistry, veterinary law, and some practical animal skills such as health checks and management plans and dispensing medication. So it's a very sciencey um, route, but it is there to allow you to get onto those um, degrees within that year. The entry requirements are GCSE grade four or above in English language, maths and science, and those are recommended. So do get in touch, as I said with us, if there's any questions about the entry requirements for that course. So we do, of course, have alternative animal management and saddle roof provisions at um, Cape Manor College. We run dog grooming courses. We run saddlery and shoe making courses. And we have our degree in animal management and zoology. Um, at the moment, those courses are only run at our Enfield campus. Um, we are looking, as I say, to expand our campuses and, and run these courses in other areas. But at the moment, that is where um, those, can be, um, those can be carried out. Those other courses, they are in different breakout rooms at the moment, but the, uh, re we're recording all of our presentations. So you'll be able to view the presentations for other animal management courses if you would like to later on. OK, so that is the end of our presentation. Um, if you would like to ask any questions, please do pop those in the chat and we will be able to start answering them now if Nico hasn't answered them already whilst we've been talking. Okay, so one thing to um, go over then is um, changing courses with your qualifications. 
if for example you were to put down that you wanted to go on to a level two course and then when you receive your grades for your qualifications you find you've done much better than expected or maybe you haven't quite met the criteria that you thought you were going to meet we can change what level course you're on uh, in the future so the best thing to do is get an application in with the grades that you think you're going to achieve and then we can change it if we need to um, so you won't lose your place, you might just be moved on to a different course if your grades change. Okay. So I'm just having a quick look through our chat. Okay, so questions about um, the uh, Corona virus and the, the lockdown and how, how we'll still be able to use things. Um, we're going to, so Christine Bianchi is going to have a quick chat about, um, about uh, the lockdown and how it's going to work um, after this. But we are going to um, be able to be using our centres. We do have facilities and we will be making sure that everyone's getting access to those practicals and those animals. We do work with, um, we do work with students with educational health and care plans, of course, um, and we have an excellent learning support team and they will be speaking to us as well just briefly after this. Um, the main thing is if you do have any additional um, needs or requirements, it's just making sure that we're aware of those before you start the course so we can put everything in place. So if you have an educational health and care plan, of course, we will see that before you begin and we'll make sure that all the support needs that you have are ready for when you start your course. We've got really good um, access to things like counsellors um, and guidance and mentors at the college as well. So each campus has its own um, teams that will help uh, anyone that needs it um, and yeah they, they, they make everyone's sort of journey really smooth um, in the college which is fantastic. Before you start your course um, in terms of PPE so before you start your course you will need to have had a tetanus vaccination so this is to make sure that if you were to um, sort of scratch yourself on anything or um, you had an animal injury of some sort, then you would be protected against tetanus. Um, so everyone needs to bring proof that they've had it. Uh, people also need to um, have steel toe cap boots, uh, which you can get sort of from workman shops. Um, Sports Direct does sell them as well. Uh, and that's just in case anything heavy gets dropped on your foot or are you, uh, I don't know, are you, you have a uh, horse decide to take a lean on you there, uh, you will be protected. So we do have some um, steel toe cap boots you'll need and some overalls to protect you when you're working out and about in the rain. Just checking through. Right, hello. Just um, to follow up on a question from um, Julia, which I assume uh, many of you um, will be asking. So, um, in terms of entry requirements, uh, the um, target grades have to do with English language, not English literature. I've seen a question that just asks if you could be a marine biologist. You absolutely could be a marine biologist. Um, I know, I don't know all of the universities that run it, but I do know that Southampton runs a really good marine biology um, 
course and uh, if you'd completed our level three um, you you would have the entry requirements to go and do that so um, definitely that is an option for you at this stage you can do you can essentially focus yourself to go to any kind of um, establishment that you want to Agriculture. And a question that has been uh, recurring. So, if you have not yet received any answers on your um, on your applications, uh, you will be definitely receiving uh, conditional offers on our side of things, um, pending your predicted or final grades on GCSE. So uh, the way it works is um, you get a conditional offer for the course you have applied to, and then once you get your grades, once you submit your grades to us, then you get a final offer on the course that is most suitable for you. After you've done level one, absolutely, you can move on to level two. Um, and then on to level three and then on to the degree. On the question about the revised uh, BTEC book, this is an excellent resource if you're going on the uh, level three extended certificate or the level three foundation diploma. And uh, about funding, yes, there are definitely advanced learning loans available for animal management. Um, so the question about when to um, apply, um, apply as soon as possible. It means that you get your place secured on the course. Um, so for example, people looking to start this year with us in September, they should start applying now, but um, over the summer, we'll continue to take applications. Um, so yeah, just really, um, as, soon as, you're, as soon as you're ready to get that application in. And as Nico just said, if we, have to, if, we, if we need to change the level that you're on, we can do that. So just apply for the level that you think's right for you, um, and we'll go from there. And uh, Alex asked about uh, books for revision. So BTEX revision guide uh, for animal management. And I'm going to look up a uh, book, uh, sorry, a link and post it on your chat. Uh, it is a very good resource to have. So if you're going on a level three course, this will come in uh, very handy. So give me a second and then you'll get the link on your tab. Um, so you can definitely start on the um, level three without doing the level one or two. Um, you just need to have the right entry requirements to come into it. So if you've got those GCSEs, um, then you, you're able to start on the level three sort of straight away. In terms of uh, work experience, it is uh, three weeks, both for our level two and level three qualifications. And, um, what is asking, so if you'd like to work in an animal charity, directly caring for students, you can definitely do that through a level three course. And um, many of our students actually do that afterwards, and they have done so in the past. Uh, working at the zoo, some of our students have managed to uh, get in with a level three qualification. Quite often, you may need a relevant degree to do so. However, that is not essential. And um, if you get work experience in a zoo, you may be able to secure it job there. Uh, 
Um, to Jane uh, Wilson, um, yep, yeah, we can um, speak to you definitely about the education hub and care plans. Um, uh, the course that might be relevant for your son to apply for is the um, foundation learning um, pathway, uh, which is for students that are under 16. So on the uh, question, what are the subjects we have on offer uh, with animal management? So within our department, uh, our department has got three, let's say, main um, branches. One is animal care and animal management with courses from level one to level three. Then the other part is dog grooming, uh, which runs at our Enfield campus. And also our leather work, leather work division, uh, which is on uh, saddlery and uh, shoemaking. And it's also within our Enfield campus. On the questions about applications, uh, just go through uh, the, the process on our website. There is a link to directly apply. And in that application process, you can, um, you can apply for specific courses and then declare any other requirements you may have to uh, be able to successfully study. And I would say just if anyone's asking us to contact them directly from this um, Zoom chat, uh, we don't have uh, any contact details or anything like that coming out. And I would ask you not to share them with the whole group um, at the moment, just for sort of security reasons and everything. So um, if you have any um, questions and you, you would like um, more information, we do have a we do have contact information that we'll show at the end. But also if you'd like to just if you, if you think you are interested in the course, a great way to start is to do the application form and then we're able to get in touch with you because we'll have all of your information and everything there. Um, it definitely helps when it comes to writing CVs um, yeah. and application tips for jobs. It's part of our, in all of our courses, we have a, um, a section where we, we teach about general things that you'll need to know as well. And um, CVs and job applications uh, is definitely something that will help with them. We also have a careers advice team. Um, so we have specific people on hand you can book appointments with and go and, and get your CV set up and actually apply for some jobs with them um, if you need a hand. On uh, the question on whether you can get to uh, veterinary nursing from level two, uh, the general answer is yes. So there are usually two different ways to get into veterinary nursing. It is either by completing a degree on veterinary nursing or getting a work-based qualification. In either case, um, students will have to complete a level three qualification. So you can definitely get from level two to veterinary nursing through level three. Or I should probably more accurately say via level three. So you progress onto level three, then when you complete that, you can either apply for uni or find a work-based qualification to become a veterinary nurse. So our, um, our breakout room um, will be closing in, um, it says 100 seconds, and we'll be directed back to the main room. Um, if there's any questions that you still have that you need to ask, there's going to be a question and answer section in the main room um, as well shortly. Um, and there will be people from all the departments in there. So it might be if there's a specific funding question or a specific learning support, educational healthcare plan question, that there'll be people in there more able to um, answer you. But obviously be aware that there's also all of the students in there as well. So they're not going to answer specific questions at that time and um, it will be more general questions just to make sure that um, everyone's aware and remember we we may have missed a number of questions because our time is limited however uh, if you go on the chat history and I'll write it again uh, 
have both our emails and you can get in touch and we'll get your question to the right tutors. So I'm posting our emails here again before this room closes. So send us an email and we'll get you the answers. Thank you so much for joining us to learn about animal management in Sajori. Uh, Nico and I really look forward to meeting you all in September when you're starting our new courses or perhaps the following year if you're not quite ready this year. Um, but we'll join you now in the main breakout room. Bye. Bye.